Hi! In the preview section, we deploy our application, we deploy our MongoDB, we deploy our names demo service, and we learn how to use secrets inside of a service, and we use the docker service command to do all the things. Now, in this section, we are going to take a look at what is docker stack, building our docker stack file, Deploying our application. What is Docker Stack? In this video, we are going to take a look at what is a stack, why should we use it, and I'm just going to show you the Docker Stack command. So, what is a stack? A stack is a collection of services that make up an application in a specific environment. A stack file is a file in a YAML format similar to a Docker Compose file that defines one or more services. So, in other words, like in the previous video, we deploy our names demo service, but we have one requirement. We need to deploy the MongoDB first, and then we need to deploy our application. Now, Consider that Docker stack follow the same idea like Docker Compose YAML. We can describe both on the same file and with one command we can spin up both of them. Why should we use it? Stacks are a convenient way to automatically deploy multiple services that are linked to each other without needing to define each one separately. Like I told you, the MongoDB and the names demo service. Stack files define environment variables, deployment tags, the number of containers, and related environment specific configurations. Because of this, you should use a separate stack file for development, staging, production, and other environments. And now, the Docker stack command. The docker stack command is a very simple one. So we have the docker stack and then the command. With the command deploy, we can deploy a stack. So it's simpler than docker service create or update because every time that we want to deploy, we are going to use deploy. We can list the stacks in the cluster that are running on the cluster. We can list the tasks in the stack, we can remove and we can list the services. Just to give you one idea, when we want to deploy a project, we are going to run the follow command docker stack deploy minus minus compose minus file. Then I will point my compose file. In this case, the name is docker compose.yaml and then my application name. So this is the name of my stack. Or we can use the short way instead of minus minus compose file, we can just use minus C and then the, the name of the file. In the next video, we are going to take a look at how to build our Docker stack file and how to deploy it.